You think you know what females go through in the music industry, but you have no clue. I hate to the worst. That was a question. That wasn't a statement. But he had came at me wrong from the jump. Most female artists are striving to be number one in a male-dominated industry. Some of them have to make up lies, change their looks, or even pretend to be something they're not. Even being connected to some of the most powerful people in the music industry just doesn't cut it. But with all their success, they're still striving to be one step beyond. My name is Raindrop Lopez, the first lady of hip rock. And I am from what I call Philanthropia. And that is Philly, Atlanta, and California. And if I look vaguely familiar to you, it's because my sister is Lisa Lefty Lopez, the late, great Lisa Lefty Lopez that was in TLC. The way I got started in the music industry was kind of like, I would say it was an accident because I was not intending on doing music. I was just actually doing a song of my sister's and I would do it a different way, my rock way. I wasn't a rapper, so I was just playing around with it. Like now I can't even imagine like not doing it. My name is Lynn Tate and I'm from Southern Home, Tuskegee, Alabama. I've been doing music forever, you know, church choir. When I turned like 16, I started recording in the studio. And uh, when I started recording the studio, that's when I know that that's what I just love to do. So I was recording ever since I was like 16. My family friends, they support me big time. They keep my TV in their car. Every time I call them, they're listening to Lynn Tate. I love girl groups, Destiny's Child, 702, Escape, Total. Oh my God, um, it was like one group, it was just one group, but whatever, I know all the groups. It's definitely competition, you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little different with mine. Like, they're rappers, but, you know, I sing rap, you know what I mean? I do both. So, by me having all these features, you know what I mean? I have features with Rich Homie, Trinidad, uh, Pastor Troy, Young Jock, Young Dro. I mean, I can go on. My name is Zoe Clark. I'm a pop artist from Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Bronx, New York. I've been pursuing music for about seven years, but seriously for the last four. I got started in the music industry through pageants. I had a talent. My talent was always vocal. My largest musical influence is Madonna. I adore her. I love how she transcends over time. She's always reinventing herself. And I think a lot of artists haven't mastered that. Very few do, and that's why they become legends. I have an excellent support system. My family and friends fully support my music. And my friends have pretty much, I've had the same friends all my life. So pretty much whatever I'm going for, they support it, and music is no different. I got my long hair on, been drinking on I am Alexis, known as Lex from the pop and R&B group Bliss. Singer, songwriter, dancer, entertainer, everybody's sis, <laughs> everybody's best friend, that's me. I have been doing music my entire life. I started singing when I was eight years old with my dad's band. He had a band in the army and they would do little shows around on the military bases. And then I formed a group when I was little and I asked him to be our manager and I've been singing ever since, so my entire life. <laughs> my day job, I really do not have one. I help my uncle out with his trucking company and I do bliss pretty much all day. I was working as a stylist at BB, so you know, that allowed me to keep using my creative side of my mind, which is something I have to do otherwise I won't focus, so. I am Monet Iman, and I am a professional blogger. I am developing a blog um, characterizes an advice column targeting women ages 14 to 23. I spend about 20 to 30 hours every week blogging. I want to impact lives and provide a different perspective on life with my blog. Eventually, I would love to obtain my own talk show. My biggest obstacle when it comes to just networking and developing my brand alone is having to deal with unprofessional men who you'll come to them, present yourself as a professional woman, and you have all your shit together, 
and at the end of the day, all they can think about is fucking, and it's, it's just it's annoying, it's aggravating, and it makes you question your ability to succeed as a woman in this game. Well, hello, gorgeous. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. good. I'm good. Yeah. 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 Good to see you. Thank you. Come on, let's go have a seat. Okay. So, I have two personalities. One side is Monet Iman, the blogger, my brand. She is well spoken, highly educated, very wise young woman, very classy. The other side of me is Coco who is very abrupt, obnoxious, rude as hell. She's a sex symbol, she's a freak, and she's happy about it. She don't like to hide it, you know, she, she look wild. Um, so that's, that's a big obstacle for me, being able to balance those two without tarnishing my brain. But that's the thing, like, I just don't, my thing is this, I have so much to offer business-wise. And you're supposed to be a businessman. Why the hell wouldn't you want to capitalize on somebody that could bring, help bring in more funds? And, but I just feel like this. Stop trying to fuck me. And we make money together. I'll buy you a bitch. I actually don't know if females respect me in this industry or not. It's not from a lack of caring, it's just I kind of feel like what people think about me is not my business. People wonder why I have all these tattoos. Mm -hmm. It's because... It's okay. I don't know, it's just bliss. It's just different. I don't. I really don't know. We're just different. That's just what it is. My mom was a little skeptical just having another child going into the music industry. The only obstacle has really been family-wise, trying to separate the business from family. The obstacles I have to face, you know what I'm saying, being a female in the industry is, uh, you know, going back to me working with a lot of males in the industry and I'm already getting judged. You know, people judge me saying I'm doing this and I'm that and I'm hoeing around. Oh, in the next five years, total world domination. And I know that sounds crazy, but for me, I believe in the secret. I believe you attract whatever it is that you're putting out there. And there's things I've already done that from my circumstances, I should have never been able to accomplish. So you really can't tell me that nothing is possible and I don't believe it. Okay, I want to toast to women empowering women. All of us getting where we want to be in the industry on our own terms. Right? That's so good. So to that, thank you guys for coming. Woo